Satan is not a myth. He's a reality. He's not just a concept. He is a literal fallen angel, a spirit being with great intelligence, great power, great influence, and he's not only alive, but he's living to oppose God and to oppose everything God loves, which includes you, your family, and your church. Today we want to talk about some of the tactics or the devices that the devil uses to uh, defeat, to discourage, and attack us. We're going to use his five biggest names, and out of these five names, we're going to find the five tactics Satan uses to attack us and oppose God. Number one, he is an opposer. That is what the name Satan means. It means opposer or adversary. Like I said, he lives to oppose God. He wants to be God. He wants to push everything out of the way but himself so that he can be God. And he will oppose you when you take steps for God, when you take steps to God, when you take steps with God. So expect Satan to be an opposer. He will use opposition. Second, he's a tempter. We find him being called the tempter in 1 Thessalonians chapter 3. The first time we see Satan in the New Testament, he is tempting Jesus in the wilderness when Jesus was fasting for 40 days. The first time we see Satan in the Bible is in the book of Genesis chapter 3 where he's tempting Eve. He's a tempter and he will tempt you. Now realize, temptation is the appeal to do uh, something that you like in a way that does not please God. It's a God-given desire fulfilled in an ungodly way. And everybody is tempted. Even Jesus was tempted. And Satan is a tempter. Temptation is not sin, but when you give into it, that's when it becomes sin. So he's an opposer. He's a tempter. Number three, he's a deceiver. Satan is a liar. He's called the deceiver in Revelation chapter 12. Uh, Jesus called him uh, uh, the liar and the father of lies. He will lie to you all the time. He lies through our culture. We hear his, his voice lying all the time. If I could go through every thought you had in your head in the last week and circled everyone that's a lie, we would find very quickly where you are in bondage, because Jesus said the key to, to freedom is knowing the truth. If you know the truth, if you experience the truth, the truth will set you free. But if you experience and know the lie, the lie will put you in bondage, and that's why Satan is a liar. The, third thing, the fourth thing about him is he's an accuser. We'll talk about this more tomorrow, but he's an accuser, and he will accuse you to God and tell God bad things about you. He will accuse God to you and tell you bad things about God. He will accuse you to other people and tell them bad things about you. He will accuse other people to you and tell you bad things about them, and he will accuse you to yourself. He's an accuser. The word devil, that word means slanderer or accuser. And that's very discouraging. And that's one way he wants to bring division between us and God, us and others, is through accusation because he's the devil, he's the accuser. The last title that Satan has that is common is destroyer. He's called the great destroyer in Revelation chapter 12. In John 10, he, he, Jesus said that he came to, to lie, kill, steal, and to destroy. How does he try to destroy us? Well, he uses several things. He tries to distract us from God and what's important. He tries to divide us, as I said, one from another. He wants to divide you from your, yourself, from your family, from your church. He, he tries to uh, destroy you by discouraging you, by de defeating you, by depressing you, by deflating you, by draining you. Put it, have you ever noticed that he has a way of putting draining people around you in your life? 
Why? Why is it when you're trying to go for God, there's these draining situation, there's these draining people, because Satan is a destroyer. He's trying to destroy what you're doing for God. Ultimately, he wants to destroy your life. God's not going to tell you to kill yourself. God's not going to tell you to, to waste your life in drugs or alcohol or any of these things. Those are all lies from the enemy. But I've got good news for you. Yes, Satan's going to oppose you. He's going to try to deceive you. He's going to tempt you. He's going to accuse you. Satan's going to try to destroy you. But I got good news for you. Uh, John reminds us in 1 John chapter 4 and verse 4, You are of God, little children, and you have overcome, because greater is he that is in you than he, Satan, who is in the world.